good people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for the support you have shown me i really appreciate continue subscribing always like share and comment on the videos so today we have a new video and it's just a simple kitchen cleaning and pantry cleaning video i was just doing my normal cleaning and then i decided to share this with you guys we don't have electricity that's why my pantry is quite dark so let's get into the video and enjoy the simple kitchen cleaning video There's nobody else. First, I just want to get everything that's on the floor from the pantry to the kitchen side so that I can sort them out and then get the pantry well organized. <laughs> I cleaned my egg tray and then filled it up with the new eggs that I had bought. So by the way, eggs are very expensive. I don't know why. So I just got it filled up. It's always enough for us when it's full. It holds about 32 eggs. I'm then sorting the small baskets that normally holds coffee and other spices that's always on the pantry shelf so i'm just trying to organize them well so that everything can fit into the four containers that i have <laughs> the spices i just cleaned the spice just before actually they were not dirty but just greasy because i don't have a hood in my kitchen so when i cook they get quite greasy so for this reason i'm not going to store them at the workshop area but i'm moving them to the pantry shelves because i have a lot of space there so that's where they'll be until i get a hood for my kitchen so i just filled new spices into the spice just that were washed and then everything was just okay this is biryani spice i normally use this to cook rice so i was trying to remove the black peppers that are always in it and also those that look like the bark of trees they are always so spicy and i don't like them because most of the times i use this to cook my rice so i just removed that to remain with the nice smelling ones i did labeling of some of the containers that i had changed some spices there were some spices that i had that i no longer use so i gave them out and then renamed the spice jars so that i could use them to store other things filled my salt shakers with sea salt for the table can't wait to use this container i used to store my ugali flour so i just added the ones that i had purchased to this so that they can just be in one container 
because I had done a little shopping before, so this was kind of also sorting them. And also, I have some, you see these containers? The plastic containers normally help me a lot at the pantry for sorting things. Like you see the milk, now I can easily store them in one thing. And like having them in several boxes. I also have some, the white containers, these ones, they also help me a lot in sorting the extra shopping and other things that we don't use at the moment. It has a whisper, message from a new world I'd never known. Something about it felt like I've been waiting my whole life. Is this home? This other side, I have some snacks, so I'm just storing the cookies making sure everything is organized, put sugar into their respective containers, make sure the area is clean, and then I'm done for that. on top of the fridge is always so high up so if i want to get things from there i have to at least use a stool so for today i'm not going to store anything in it for now because i'm tired of that so i'm just going to use this other shelf and also the rest in the pantry so these are my cereals where i store them i'm just labeling the containers because sometimes they confuse the pancake flour with the one for chapati <music> I'm done with the sorting and organizing. So I wanted to remain with a clear, clean worktop with less things and like the other times when I always have everything just all over the place. So my main aim for this video was to have an empty, clean worktop. I also organized the pantry, but I couldn't record that because there was no electricity on this day. It came back very, very late after I'd finished my cleaning. Ever let you into the secret? We are almost getting done, so it's just all about cleaning the worktops, the walls, because sometimes food spills to the wall. So, but since there are tiles here, this was quite easy to clean. Can hear the cooker it's just normal cleaning nothing much to be done this was not a thorough cleaning video but just a normal cleaning video then i have this board that normally separates the fridge and the cooker it really helps me because the heat can spoil the cooker so i just cleaned it because a lot of food always spills on on it and being that it's white it must stay clean <laughs>
brought out my glasses and cups so on this shelf i store glasses and the jars also some wine glasses some that i use to for ice cream and the rest anything to do with glasses and that on this other side of the shelf i store my cups i had to declare these cups that i'm removing the white ones because i had a new set that was on the other side so i was shifting them on this side and i don't want to have so many cups so i had to declutter those I can hear storing the tomatoes into the fridge they were not well ripened so i had to put them outside for some time so that they can all get well ripe so i'm just storing them i had washed them before so don't worry <laughs> This shelf always helped me a lot in storing fruits, cutleries, and other things like onions. Because there, there's no space in this house, enough space in the kitchen. So this one always helped me a lot. Cleaning is done, so I'm just mopping the kitchen floor, which was not so dirty. And I'm done for the day. I hope you all enjoyed the video subscribe like share and comment for more amazing content i have amazing videos coming your way i've just been unwell but i'm faring on well yeah i hope you enjoyed it to the fullest but